Okay, so it asks us to rearrange this into the form a plus b root 2, and we know we're probably going to be having to rationalize the denominator to get rid of it. So, to rationalize the denominator, I'm just going to first of all write the fraction out again, so I can have a bit more space. Um, whenever it's just a third at the bottom, all you need to do is times top and bottom by that third. When you times a third by itself, it gets rid of the square root completely. Now the important thing to realize is that there are two expressions at the top, two terms, sorry, at the top, so we need to put them into brackets. So when we times them by root 2, it would be root 2 brackets root 8 plus 50. And at the bottom, root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which just gets rid of the root, it's, just, it's 2. Okay, let's expand the top. So root 2 times root 8 is root 16, plus 50 root 2 over 2. Root 16 is just 4. And actually you can see here that you can divide top and bottom by 2. So you can divide that by 2 to get to 1, that by 2 to get to 2, but you need to divide all the terms, and so we've got to divide the 50 root 2 also. So that becomes 25. So that gives us 2 plus 25 root 2. So our a value is 2, and our b value is 25. 